Kid Missing TV. Today we're going to talk about the case of Michael Palmer. Michael was 15 when he vanished from Sarah Palin country, <laughs> Wasilla, Alaska, on June the 4th, 1999. 11 years after he vanished, his brother also vanished without a trace. There's one for you. Um, I have a royal mess over here. A royal mess. But anyway, because I've just been throwing the papers back there in between videos. Uh, anyway, Michael's bike was found um, in a little Sasitna River in the little Sasitna. <laughs> Susitna River, S-U-S-I-T-N-A, Susitna River, and his sneakers were discovered near a private runway for a homeowner's personal aircraft some distance away, but his remains never turned up. Um, his brother, let me... Here we go. Let's see. Okay. I'm trying to look at this map. Okay. Okay. Michael, um, again, disappeared on, on his bike. His bike was found. He was called Mike. He had spent the night at a friend's house the night before. It was June 4th. It was summer break. Um, and he and three other boys slipped out of the house to attend a graduation party near Meadow Lake subdivision outside of Wasilla. Wasilla is a small town of approximately 10,000 residents. It's 43 miles northeast of Anchor Ridge. Now, how? Um, we all know it as the home of Sarah Palin. I love how they say of about 10,000 people. Where I live, less than 10,000 people. Um, at some point, we may get to 10,000. Um, when Mike didn't come home by the following afternoon, his mother called the friend at whose home he had supposedly spent the night. But the friend told her Mike wasn't there. Mike's mother reported her son missing at 3 p.m. 11 hours after he disappeared. Michael was never seen again. Again, his bicycle was found in the river. And his sneakers um, were found next to the private airstrip, which was only 200 yards from the river. His oldest brother, Chris, did not believe that it was Michael's bike. And Michael's father remained skeptical of the story Mike's three friends told about the night Mike disappeared. The father hired two different private investigators to look into the matter. One of the investigators was forced to move away from Wasilla, claiming she'd received threats against her life. And the other investigator uncovered rumors suggesting Michael had never left the party and was either murdered or kidnapped. This rumor has never been substantiated, though. Uh, let's see. His oldest brother heard about uh, fights, the graduation party, different things like that. Um, Charles Chucky Palmer. The Palmer family had three boys and two girls. Michael was the youngest boy, Chucky, the middle boy, and Chris, the oldest. On April 10th, 2010, nearly 11 years after his brother vanished, Chucky Palmer disappeared while riding his snow machine with family and friends near Taquitna, Alaska, 70 miles north of Wasilla. Chucky, his older brother Chris, their stepfather and two friends went on a guy's trip to Taquitna Mountains, to the Taquitna Mountains, where they planned to spend a few days riding their snow machines through the woods. On the morning of April 10th, the handlebar on Chris's snow machine snapped off, and he was forced to stay at the cabin and work on his machine. 
Chris was an experienced snow machine rider, but Chucky was not. Still, Chucky was looking forward to riding his new snow machine with the guys. According to the group riding with Chucky, all went well until they were heading back to the cabin on the main trail around 7.15. Chucky became separated from the rest of the group and then, just like his brother over a decade earlier, disappeared. They last saw him traveling in the wrong direction. He was dressed appropriately. He did not have a GPS, food, or water. And he was not reported missing until the following morning. His snow machine was found in deep snow 12 miles from the cabin. Um, he must have gone off the trail and ended up in the snow. I'm wondering if his, if his brother... Um, plane had an accident and his body's out there in the deep snow somewhere. But there was no footprints near the machine. Um, Fire Chief Ken Farina, who was involved in the search, said he could think of no other explanation for Chucky's disappearance other than an alien abduction. There were no clues, no evidence Chucky had been anywhere near the area where his snow machine was found. Alaska State Troopers performed a second search for Chucky's body in May of 2010 once the snow melted, but they found no sign of Chucky. Chucky Palmer was 30 years old when he disappeared and left behind three daughters. Oy, oy, oy. Uh, uh, wow. Poor guy. Um, I don't even know what to say. I, I, I don't even... I, I don't even have words. Um, I need to grab. Uh, I need to have a phone number. <laughs> um, if you have any information in this case, you, either case, you can call the Alaska State Police at 1 907 745 2131. I want to say the cases are not linked. <laughs> um, chuckling because of the ridiculousness. Um, I just don't think they are, you know, I think, well, I would have thought one was an accident, but his body would have been right there when snow melted. You wasn't going to get far. I mean, it's Alaska in winter. You would have thought snow melted body, you know, so... But apparently, off my lip, not. So what did happen? And what things were these um, private eyes digging up that sent them running from Alaska? Makes you wonder. But there really isn't any information. Um, thank you for joining me. Have a wonderful rest of your day. I will see you next time when we'll feature the case of a mother and daughter. Bye-bye.